Hello YouTube, Western Lance having to bring you the continuation of my Let's Play Knights of the Old Republic 2. Hope you're enjoying this series so far. If you are, leave a like. Let us know you want me to prioritise it over other games. In the last, well, first half of this episode, we was trying to redo what I did before I killed myself and came across this survivor. So we're going to finish the conversation. Hate? No. I do not hate them. They only raise questions without answers. Jedi are not supposed to be like the rest of us. They are supposed to see a higher purpose in all things. And they are supposed to train students responsibly and well, so mistakes of the past are not repeated. Yet all I saw was ignorance and arrogance, and what those seeds created in the Republic. It is difficult to follow the Jedi Code when so few others have, but you know this. Many Jedi defy the Order during the Mandalorian Wars, and it paved the way for the Jedi Civil War. There is no blame. All must accept. But, at its core, one must wonder if it was the failure of the Jedi teachings or the teachers themselves. Many of the Jedi Council trained Exar Kun. Ulik, Revan, and Malak. How could they not see the danger they posed? And if they could not, perhaps there was some essential part of their teachings that was flawed. Something beyond the Jedi Code that they were missing. Revan had many masters. Zar, Dorak, Master K before K left for the wars. Towards the end of his training, he sought out many to learn techniques. It is said that he returned to his first master at the end of his training, in order to learn how he might best leave the Order. Hmm. I am not certain you understand what happened with Revan. Do you wish me to explain? Revan was captured in the middle of the Jedi Civil War, due in no small part to his apprentice Malak, who turned on him. Revan was brought before the Jedi Council and put on trial. You must understand that the situation was desperate, and the Jedi needed to know how Revan had amassed the forces arrayed against them. As I understand it, they were able to convince Revan to have a change of heart, but it was only for a time. Revan helped the Republic defeat Malak. I suspect it was out of revenge. Mm. What else would you like to know? I'm trying to save the Republic. Dantuin and the Jedi Order are instrumental to that effort. Despite the troubles of the Jedi Civil War, there are those among the Republic who still favor the Jedi and wish them to return. And there are admirals within the fleet who recognize that the Jedi must be found if the Republic is to hold together. Yet as long as Onderon remains within the Republic and the efforts on Tilo succeed, that is all that matters. The Republic is fragile right now. Telos is important because its success will determine whether or not the other dead worlds receive the same reconstruction efforts. If Telos is rebuilt and made habitable again, it will affect a string of worlds along the rim. Telos will not be habitable. More thanks to me and the profits that I make. Onderon, strangely enough, was unaffected by the Jedi Civil War. It's almost as if Revan didn't want to attack it. Its resources and position on the rim make it a vital supply line and guard post against outer rim attacks. Also, it's the only world in the Republic still capable of seeding ecosystems into other dead worlds. Onderon's wildlife is some of the most aggressive in the known galaxy. Merely placing some of those beasts on target worlds will guarantee their habitation for years to come. Hmm. Why did I not attack that then? Because there's some threat in the Outer Rim that the Jedi don't know about? The Jedi are a symbol. As much damage as their reputation took during the Sith War and the Jedi Civil War, there are still many who they serve as an example. Plus, there have been times in the past where a single Jedi has been enough to change the face of a world. Or a galaxy. I suppose I still believe that might be possible. Despite the betrayal of many of the Jedi against the Republic, I must concede that as figureheads, they do serve a vital role. What else would you like to know? 
I do not know if you are aware of how fragile the Republic is at the moment. Its influence is stretched thin, and it grows weaker with time. The Jedi Civil War brought much suffering to the galaxy, and the forces that Malak and Revan amassed against us seemed limitless. Many worlds were destroyed, trade routes disrupted, and the Republic fleet was almost decimated. While it is said that Revan and several Republic heroes and Jedi defeated Malak, in many ways Malak had already won. The war was costly, and it shattered the Republic. In time, the Republic might recover, but if a threat strikes now, if certain key worlds are not held, then the Republic will collapse. What else would you like to know? I think that's everything. Before you go, I had a question for you. You came to Dantooine in search of Jedi. Why? I want to kill them. A force bond? What do you mean? I'm not sure I understand. No. I thought I had heard mention of such connections in some of the holocrons, but I do not possess them. They are part of the holocrons that were taken from the Enclave. I know some of what you speak. It is said that when a Jedi and Padawan establish a close connection, that they can feel each other across distances and coordinate their movements in battle. The intensity of the connection varies. That bonding is said to also be something that manifests itself in such techniques as Bastila's battle meditation, the ability to touch the minds of others, to demoralize or inspire them. It is also said that moments of death or near death may also cause such bonds. The stronger one is in the Force, the stronger the connection. Hmm. God damn. Lethal. Well, she is a really powerful force user, so. Thoughts. Images, perhaps, but not actual communication and words. A bond often causes a sensation to be passed along it, such as extreme fear and pain. Still, I have seen Jedi who have the ability to communicate with aliens and beasts. It is a rare thing. Perhaps telepathy is one such talent. I've never heard of a bond being lethal. I suppose such a thing is possible. I had not truly believed Bastil as battle meditation until I had seen it in action. I do not know. I do not know who has taken them. I'm sorry. I wish I could tell you more. I will return to Kunda now and await the next transport. You may find me there if you have more questions. Uh, I want to the next. Hmm. Okay. So we have a potential place where he might be. No more stuff I can loot in here, is there? Yep. Note to self, don't trigger those explosions. Let I'm us having a bit of a case of deja vu. <laughs> where I don't really want to trigger that. Hmm. 
Fry the bug, fry the bug, fry the bug. Punch it while it's crippled. The battle tactic. I grab it by the throat and hold it in the air so it can't do it out, and you walk up and stab it with a pointy stick. In the case of the woman, punch it. Yeah, stretch your neck. How many kills it has to take to kill something? Oh, I saved it. I wonder if it goes until it actually dies. No. Damn it. That was very nice. There's another one. How many more bugs is there? Oh no. Both part of weird. Crap. Oh, I want force power out of you. You have no force power. That is not good. Kill it already, there we go. Can't kill it in one or two moves, don't even bother. All the experience. Oh crap, I don't have enough repair parts. Damn it. I want more parts. Wait, that's a salvage part, right? Are they dying? That 18. Ah, oh, that's gonna take a while. Mm -hmm. One more droid bits. Oh wait, I haven't read this one.
All the experience. You're probably the better combat person. There we go. Hey, I wonder if I could turn them into like suicide droids or sell them that guy. They need the help. And then laugh as they burn. Because once I've got my credit, I don't care. Oh, they leveled up. Yeah, they're okay. Where did you stop? Well, if there's no survivors, technically I was one of the selfages that came down to the lower sub levels with him, so. And you know what they say find his keepers. And if they argue, boss lightning. Who's gonna mess with the Sith Lord? Not from some animals. They'll breathe fire. I can't remember them breathing Falling. fire. I don't know why that's not voicing. Oh, uh, what do I know about moisture vaporators? Well, I, I told him I wasn't sure if it would work or not. He's hiding something. Hey, uh, can we please talk about this later we're, when we're not in danger of being eaten by leg wrecks? Sorry, I gotta go. You can meet me in the salvager camp. Their stance was unthreatening. That one meant us no harm. I do not understand why we attacked. I have fought in self-defense, in battle, but never like this. Ichani are taught to be prepared for any battle at any time. We are trained to predict each battle several movements in advance, and any great battle several hours in advance. The true Ichani, the greatest of our teachers, are said to be able to predict the path of wars, of battles, years in advance. Yet, this attack I was unprepared for. I did not anticipate it. Yet, as you acted, I acted as well. I am not used to such things. Oh, darn it. The goody-goody two-shoes. Where's upset? But if she should be always prepared for battle, then she should have been prepared for the fight against the person who was not threatening, which is a flaw in her teaching because she was not ready. She is a weak student, and not worthy of training in the Sith ways of kill everything that moves, and if it doesn't move, fry it anyway because it might move. 
and teach all your Ooh! People to kill! Yay! Aww. I wanna fry that thing with lightning first. I'm not quite sure how that walked off the of mine without setting it up. Okay, I go near it and boom. I'll kill those people there, sir. Think it's able, please push the disable. Knock knock. Knock knock. They are too weak to fight off a bug on their own, and they should die. See? They was fairly confident. Yep. No loot. Oh, bug. Fire the bug. Fire the bug. Fire the bug. The only other option is to kill those people on the way out. Braved the perils of the sublevel, yes. Many stories and artifacts in your possession. This is fortuitous for myself and associates. For now, not only do I get rich salvage, but an even richer bounty. Do not be making this difficult. Your death can be quite painless. I prefer a painful and shocking death for you. So, this is your threat? Is Terra what I'm supposed to feel? We know a thing about Jedi and their ways. And now, Jedi, we shall fight. One group of Jedi. Now, I'm sorry, but I'm sure you said you knew about Jedi. And you came that ill prepared? Foolish person. Now, however, did you get to the place of power that you believe you had? What is you up? You get force powers. Mastery of the Falls focus, don't care really. Um. You will give me that, and you will take that. Do 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 uh, is there any more animals down there? Doesn't want to be. Alright, so we've killed some mercs. These are half decent combat bars. Oh, 
I love how little boss that actually uses. This shall not stop us for long. So I probably do need to actually talk to them for the returning the corpses, don't I? And claiming the salvage. One hit, one kill. One hit, one kill. I'm like the one punch man. Can't force lightning over some little cocky rocks. Let's go talk to these morons. See if it's these that I have to give it to. I miss the days like this where it didn't actually like handhold yourself through the quests all the time. Nope, so it's not you. You a new salvager? Oh, is that so? I'm gonna you get run through this. You don't Well Because any and while you I've been here. You should now Blasted Affection is useful, but that is Freaking expensive. Uh, wisdom is also useful for me. DC 10 stone. I could probably actually build a lightsaber with the crap that I've got at the moment. I hear you. Perfectly. Now I don't think there was any way off this down this direction was it? Merc camp! People to kill! You have a name. You've wandered into the wrong camp. You got the look of a warrior, and we got all the blasters we need. If you're looking for work too, just take a trip spaceward. We don't need any more competition. Got it? Then maybe we can get along just fine. What if we do? They're practically begging to be pushed around. You've seen them, right? They're weak. You're really not so bad, you know? They make our life difficult. They need to learn respect for those with superior strength. That is true. It's just another spaceport to me. We've been here too long for my tastes. And the settlers. We have to live somewhere. Something those settlers don't seem to understand. That flaming administrator and her cat hound Zeron can't keep their noses out of our business. There's a natural order to things that they just don't seem to get. They'll learn. Just make sure these settlers know their place. The Republic isn't going to send a single trainee to help this planet. It galls me to think we fought wars to protect Gizka like them. They don't do anything to help themselves, and they don't know how to... how to take responsibility. They're on their own, and either they should start working and stop whining, or else they're in for a tough ride. Hmm. She's got spirit, but she seems to focus most of her effort on trying to get us off this planet. Terena has to learn that we aren't moving. You could be moved. I have time to kill, and talking about Dantooine just irritates me. Most of us are veterans of the Jedi Civil War. Some even fought in the Mandalorian Wars. A lot of soldiers have been looking for a place in the galaxy. The really skilled usually wind up here. A sentient by the name of Azkul. He was an elite trooper for Malak during the Jedi Civil War. Treasure he home. knows how to wage war. We had a contract with the Republic, doing some work in the Outer Rim. But they scaled back, and we were some of the casualties. Now the Republic isn't hiring anymore. I hear they have no credits. That's true. We find ways to divert ourselves. A lot of us find odd jobs. There are many more mercs around than what you see on Dantooine. We're spread out. I have time to... 
Well, I'll pass the 30 minute mark, so I'll call it here and explore the rest of this camp in the next episode. Till then, take care, goodbye, and thanks for watching.